Hey guys, I'm at Napa Auto Parts. I'm trying to troubleshoot my battery in my RV. My friend Mark came over, well he came over the other day and then he came over again this morning to help me figure out why my RV is not starting. I think I mentioned that to you guys. For some reason my RV is not starting. Um, we've tried all kinds of things. We tried jumping it off on Mark's truck and it's just not working. So we took the battery out and brought it to Napa Auto Parts and they, they tested it and the battery is working. It just kind of has a low charge right now. So they are gonna charge it for me. I'm gonna be back in a couple hours to pick it up and I'm gonna stick it back in my RV and hopefully we can get this thing working. Um, we were trying to troubleshoot some different options of why it's not working. One thing it could be, which I kind of hope this is it because it would be really easy um, if it is it, is that the negative terminal of the battery was a little bit loose and the bolt, the nut and bolt that were um, connected to it were a little bit stripped. So maybe there's just not a good negative uh, connection to the negative terminal. So I ordered um, a replacement for that. So I'm going to get that fixed hopefully. So we shall see how well that works. I'll let you guys know. All right guys, I'm back at the RV. I don't have my battery back from Napa Auto Parts just yet, but there's a couple things I need to do before I get it back anyways. First thing I'm gonna do is cut a piece of cardboard to fit like underneath where the battery goes. Because right now, the battery was just sitting directly on like the little metal bed. I don't even know what you call it, I'm sorry. But it was sitting directly on the metal. And Mark was telling me that sometimes that can actually cause some discharge of the battery and it will actually drain out faster. So you just put a little piece of cardboard underneath it and that helps kind of insulate it so that doesn't happen. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can see right here, this is where the battery would go and it was just sitting directly on this. And so now instead I'm just gonna put a little bit of cardboard there. Yeah. Well, that piece of cardboard fits perfectly. I only had to make just a couple little cuts and it lies right in there. That is awesome. So the battery will just set right on top of that cardboard. I'm also gonna go ahead and take this bolt out if I can. I mean, let's try, it looks like it's like kind of rust in there. I'm gonna try to go ahead and take this out since I'm getting a replacement one and it's been stripped a little bit. If I can't get it out, the bolt itself was not as bad. It was mostly the nut that was really stripped. But I wanna see if I can get it out. Um, we will see. I got it. Now I'm going to take a metal bristle brush and clean up the uh, terminal a little bit more. And hopefully it'll be all ready. I should put the battery back in this evening when I get it back. Mark is so awesome. He gifted me this little nifty device, um, which for all of you mechanics out there is probably nothing special, but for someone like me that has never really worked on cars before, it's really great when you just see how nifty all the tools are. So this is made specifically for cleaning battery terminals. Uh, this one will go inside. It will go inside it to clean it, that one. And then this end goes like on the battery itself, the terminal there to clean like the part that sticks up. So you, you can see how much of a novice I am, guys. I get excited over these little things that I'm learning. Um, and I don't even know the names for everything. So thanks for being patient with me, but I'm excited to, to fix my vehicle. Just, just hope this all pays off in the end. Well, I'm pretty proud of myself. I managed to get the battery back into the engine all by myself and got it all hooked back up. Um, have new hardware on the pos oh, on the negative side there. The positive side, uh, the hardware is still like usable, except that the bolt is kind of warped. So I actually tried to get this out so I could replace that too, but it's kind of bent, so I wasn't able to get it out. I didn't want to force it, so I just put it back on as is. Um, the nut and bolt are still such that I could get a wrench around it, so it'll be fine for now. But I tried to fire up the engine and it is still not working. Same problem as before. You turn the key and there's just one loud click and nothing. Nothing's turning over or anything. So even though this battery is now fully charged, um, yeah, it's still not working. So it's not the battery. So next option, the next thing when you look at it is the solenoid and then after that we'll look at the starter. I don't think it's the starter, at least Mark, Mark says he doesn't think it's the starter because you can hear the starter engaging, that's what that loud click is. Um, so maybe it's a solenoid, we'll see. I want to message Mark, see what he has to say. And it's raining right now, so I'm going back inside. <laughs> 